In order for me to discuss the video that I want to discuss with you guys today, I really think I need to get up. Give me a minute. Today we will discuss the new trend that they call bed riding. That's why I had to get up. I couldn't discuss that and be in the bed riding. We'll talk about what it is, what it does, and how it can affect our mental well-being, and of course, my number one thing, our self-care. So let's get started. Do you like being in your bed all day? If you don't know, there's actually a term used for that now. Who would have thought a leisure activity like this would suddenly be giving this big name? It is called bed riding. And although it isn't a very pleasant sounding name, it is in fact touted as a new self-care trend. This trend has been going viral on the internet, especially on TikTok. It's basically the art of lying in bed for long periods of time. Some people do different things during this period of time, like watch movies, binge watch their TV shows, scroll on their phone, get on their laptop, do nothing, play video games, snack, trying to just have peace and quiet, but it's all done from the bed. This could last for a few hours, a whole entire weekend, or even longer. Bed routing actually is a common activity in this high-paced world that we live in. Just didn't have the weight. So is this really a positive part of self-care? Most experts don't think lying in the bed is a way to cope with day-to-day -day stressors that we have in our lives. It really started becoming a normal routine during the COVID pandemic. And since people for the most part were staying inside during the pandemic, bed riding was a way to pass time. Like I said, it just didn't have to lay. This was definitely true for people who were not working at the time or were not being active outside of their home. So during that time, for the most part, it was accepted by people. You call somebody and say, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just laying in the bed. Been in here for hours, just watching TV, just doing nothing. You know, very accepted during that period of time. Because for most people, there was nothing else to do. Initially, people thought there was a lot that could come from slowing yourself down, recharging, and resetting yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. It's not a bad idea, but it's not always a healthy one. But balance is very important to our mental well-being. Lying in the bed all day can disrupt your mood and actually increase your stressors. We must not overdo it, regardless of how good it may feel in that actual moment of lying there. Lying in bed for more than a day or two can be very concerning, unless of course the person is sick. This could point out a mental issue we are having. The urge to ride in bed is usually more about it than just the thought of lying in bed to get some rest and catch up on sleep. Sometimes we are avoiding the feelings that we feel when we are awake. Bed riding can affect our mental health, our sleep hygiene. It can directly affect what type of sleep we have at nighttime by how often we are sleeping in the day. It can also put you in a position where you're isolating yourself from others. It gives you an opportunity to dwell on things that are not going in your life. So if you're experiencing any of this bed riding, it is important to talk to a professional to make sure that there's not a mental component attached to this. Get to the root of your bed riding so you can continue to live a mentally healthy life and to have 
awesome self-care. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters to me. If you like anything I said in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, leave a comment. I'm not saying that you can't be in your bed and spend hours of the day in your bed. I'm saying if this a reason is mental, then you need to get some help. That's all the Libra man is saying. Till next time, Libra man.